Yo, yo, welcome to another video, guys. Today, we are going to be talking about the Necropolis B12 boss. Now, this is my mid-game account, and it was challenging trying to crack this. But I wanted to invest the best possible runes that my account has, and you're going to see that they're actually not amazing anyway. But this is what I need to farm. This is what I need to be farming. If you have seen my previous mid-game series videos, you know that you should be focused on one dungeon at a time. Um, whatever your account needs, whatever your account needs is what you should be focused on. So this is my focus. I need my BJR5 team. This is where I'm going to get those rage runes, period. End of story. Here and then Karzan, right? So... This is my team for Necropolis B12. Again, this is my mid-game account. And uh, by now, you probably have seen plenty of my videos and you know how bad my towers are. So I don't need to explain how bad they are. But your team will work a lot better the better your towers are. Now, this is the team you are going to be running, all right? Now, if you don't have Deva, if you don't have this Deva, you can just use Atalia or you can use any other twin really or you can get a second um second to a rock all right so these two are pretty necessary i'll be honest with you um, as far as from what i've been able to do maybe in the future i will be able to do a video on this mid game account without twins for some of you that don't have them but for now, this is my team. And then um, you can actually just replace her with a Colleen as well. A Colleen is very, very good. I've actually ran it with the Colleen there. And I will, uh, actually I'll do two runs. As a matter of fact, we'll start off with the Colleen. Obviously it's a little faster with the Deva, right? So let's take a look uh, without the Deva first and then we'll throw in the Deva uh, so you guys can see my team. And then I'll show you guys the runes and uh, hopefully you guys are able uh, to make this but you see with the attack buff from the friend um, Rock and the twins are able to just melt those waves One really really big thing here is that because the Fran and the the Deva uh, Are light monsters. They're gonna tank this guy just like that right there. He actually derped uh, But when he uses s2, it's random. All right, but when he doesn't uh, he is going to be hitting uh, your light monster all right, so now we're getting the boss down, and you can see everyone is still healthy. I'm running two healers um, in this run. A nice proc from the friend. We've got the immunity. Um, even though, you know, the Shina derp, that doesn't matter. Uh, you notice the Colleen is running just behind the Shina and uh, before the rock, and that's, um, that is one keynote. Uh, that's so that once we get to the boss, you'll see here, ideally the Colleen is going to move. Uh, Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, the Colleen is running after the rock. I need to fix that. Uh, well, I don't use the Colleen anymore, uh, basically. But ideally, the Colleen would move uh, before as well, so you can break that shield, okay? That's so you can break the shield faster, and you can get damage in from your rock and your Sabrina. Now, let me double check, because I think I was running this without... Okay, now we do have the imprisoned soul first. Obviously, uh, he's always going to take either the rock or the Sabrina because those are going to be your damage dealers, even when you're running the Deva. So you always want to make sure that you get that uh, get that uh, imprisoned soul back first, and uh, obviously you're going to need the damage, right? <laughs> you, you need the damage, so make sure you have that clicked. But then you'll see, I mean, the team's just really never in trouble. It's really never in trouble. And there's going to be a reason for that. It's the way I ruined them, which I'm going to show you, obviously. And right here, it's about GG. So this team, um, it can run anywhere from... It just ranges. It, it really does. So it's about two minutes here um, with, with this team. Without the without the Colleen, it, you know, it can run a lot faster. A lot of it is going to depend on violent procs. Um, obviously, I am running violence on some of these. Actually, I might need this, so let's keep this. All right, so I'll show you Colleen's, stat, uh, Colleen's runes really quick, and I guess I can just go over all of the runes, but she is in triple revenge and shield. Uh, the shield set is important because it means you're gonna take less damage every wave. Uh, it just it just it's just there to mitigate damage obviously and then the double revenge so that when the boss does hit she can indeed revenge so speed hp hp 
And uh, these are the other rooms. You'll notice a lot of them are missing grinds. All right, let's throw the devil back in and I can show you guys the actual runes running on this team. There we go. So this is the Deva. Uh, Violence Blade, uh, attack, crit damage, and HP. Uh, she actually is not moving ahead of the rock. I completely forgot. And now I remember why, and it is because I want her moving after the shield is down, guys. I'm so sorry, I completely forgot. I switched it because I want her moving after the shield is down. Because, as you saw, we are running, uh, um, uh, well, attack her damage HP, but you're running HP, right? You're running an HP rune, so your damage is going to be not amazing so it's it's uh the reason for that is for her dots is that so that she moves after the shield is down and you can apply those dots you can apply those dots because those dots are going to do plenty of damage as well and uh these are the rest of her runes again not too many grinds on them and also still not completely maxed on three and five your team will be better when when that when you do that Shina. Shina is on Violent Shield, another shield set. Uh, this rune is not even maxed because it's 5 star. If not, I would have maxed it, but that, this is what I'm working with, guys. This is what I'm working with. And then um, I couldn't, I didn't have the runes to put her on crit damage, so crit rate is totally acceptable because she's kind of just there to defense break the waves, ideally, and to hit the, uh, to basically break the shield once you get to the boss, and again, HP. HP, because if not, they die. They die really fast. Um, but her especially needs the HP, because when the boss takes Sabrina, you don't want Sabrina to basically kill you. Uh, and then we've got uh, the Fran. Fran is violent focus, just a little bit of accuracy. That's kind of for my Giants team, but even then here, it's pretty good um, if she can if she can attack break the the boss here so speed hp hp and she's probably got one of my better violent sets um honestly and even then it's nothing too special and then you've got the sabrina the sabrina is on crit damage now i wish i could get more she's got some accuracy accuracy on her is important but on this team it is not that important because she's moving last on the team so by that time um everything should be defense broken uh, by then and uh, her attack break is not needed because you've got the fran so she is on attack crit damage and hp you notice this five star hp violence rune and these are her other uh, other runes, and that is the best I can do as far as uh, as far as the runes go. So let's take a let's take a look at another run. This one is with the Deva, and again, um, I kind of mixed up my mid game account with my main account. Um, on my main, I do run the Deva um, way ahead, but that's because I don't need the dot damage. I actually can do enough damage, so uh, that's why she's running after that. The dot damage is going to be very, very helpful. Now here, this is also why you run those shield sets. Uh, you pro I don't know if you have to or not. It's all going to depend on your runes. But in case the boss would have done his skill too. And sometimes he can go onto the same target. So when that happens, you need the, uh, that the shield set to mitigate um, a lot of it. If the friend didn't put up that immunity right but you you see that uh the run is definitely going a little faster obviously without the colleen right so this is going to be a little faster um but even then it's pretty it's very very safe but it's still not like crazy fast all right but it is like a minute and a half to like two minutes um it's perfect for me and you notice right there those two dots right so that's an extra 10 percent damage guys that's an extra 10 percent damage from the deva and there's another dot boom that's 15 percent uh, of the boss's health just because like i said i'm running her after the shield is down and uh, you saw one last dot there but that one did not matter uh, he actually took the devil there which is not ideal because as you saw those uh she can stun your team right uh luckily we were able to just survive from that and then right there right there that is also why you want to run hp on them you want to run hp on them because uh the boss can i mean he hits hard guys <laughs> he hits hard and because he cleanses himself when he comes back he loses that attack break so that's why you want those hp runes and the time is look at that a minute 53 
So not too bad, very, very consistent team for myself. Um, I really, really recommend this. I hope you guys are able to replicate it. So there you go, guys. This is my team. I hope you guys are able to replicate it. Um, and I know I forgot to show the rock. So he is an attack, crit damage, and attack. He is the only one uh, that I did not put on HP. And it's working for me. If you're having trouble and he's dying, just, you know, guys, take a look at your team and see what the problem is. And just, you can fix it. If he starts dying for you, for me, he just really never dies. Uh, he really doesn't. So, and he is like one of my damage dealers. Ideally, you could throw him on HP if you need to. It's all up to you. But anyways, guys, this is my Necro B12 safe uh, farming team on my mid-game account, guys. So, Shina, Deva, Sabrina, Rock, Fran is your team for Necro B12. If you didn't know, now you know. You know.